So what is variational inference? Variational inference, also known as variational base, is a method to approximate an intractable posterior or any other probability distribution known only up to a normalizing constant. That is, we don't know the full shape of the distribution. Is it this one or this or this? How is it done? One way to think about it is turning knobs such that a function which we control will look like the function we are trying to get. In this example, the blue line represents the true function, the function we are trying to get. The yellow line represents the function we can control and turn its knobs, also known as parameters. By turning the knobs enough, we get closer and closer to the real function until we finally reach a perfect match, or sometimes we reach close enough. The yellow line is called the variational distribution or the variational family because we can vary it. This is the basic intuition, but VI differs from this in a few ways. First, we don't know the blue function completely. Otherwise, we would just use it. We only know it up to a normalizing constant. That is, in the following graph, we don't know if it's the blue line, the yellow, or the magenta. In Bayesian settings, this means we only know the joint in Bayes formula, but not the evidence. Second, we don't turn the knobs manually. We use some optimization technique. We choose a specific metric that captures the distance between the two distributions, but which doesn't care about the normalizing constant. This is called the KL divergence. We employ an optimization algorithm to optimize this metric, such as coordinate ascent or gradient ascent. Usually the problem is multidimensional, and in order to simplify the procedure, we make another big approximating assumption. We look at each dimension by its own, or a subset of dimensions by their own, giving each one its own approximating function. This is called full mean field approximation. Since this is a major simplification, we essentially lose all the correlation structure between the dimensions. In some problems, we allow for some interdimension correlation. This is called structured mean field. In simple problems, we can calculate the optimization steps manually and create a specific computer program to run the optimization. More complex problems are usually too hard to solve analytically, so we use some further simplifications, which also involve some stochasticity. This is called stochastic VI. A popular graph of what is going on looks like this. We are trying to get as close as possible to the posterior, P of Z given X. We are searching over the space of all possible distributions in the family we pose, capital Q. For example, capital Q could be the family of all Gaussians, and we are searching over all the possible parameter values, theta, of our variational distribution, Q of Z. We start with some initial values of the parameters, and by optimizing the KL divergence, we reach the parameter values that place Q as close as possible to the posterior. In the next videos, we are going to go deeper into how this magic is done. But this is all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next one.